Hey guys, ZAKRC here, coming at you with a huge RC car in the camera. Now, as you all know, this is my Ofna LX2E, and you haven't seen any running videos of it yet because the motor kept breaking, which you guys can see from my JB Weld um, and liquid, not liquid wrench, my JB Weld and Loctite Metal video, which a lot of you guys view, so most viewed video on my channel. Um, mostly it was other people wanting to see what I was talking about. Some of the people left rude comments. For me, I was just trying to entertain you guys, but we're not talking about that video. We're talking about this, but um, if you learned from that video, I was trying to repair my motor, and it ended up not working with JB Weld, and it did work with um, Loctite Metal, and it still is, and it's working great. But another huge problem that happened is my one of my motor wires split, and it was almost impossible to repair. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to repair your motor if it cogs and it won't move and just one of the wires or maybe two of the wires get really warm. And this will fix it 100%. You won't have to buy a whole new motor like I almost did. And it's just a simple fix and it totally works. I wish uh, I had a motor to demonstrate, but I'll just show you what I did. So first off, turn my buggy around here you want to take the motor out of your car and then what you want to do is if you don't want to unscrew your motor end bell cap or if you don't have an unscrewable end bell cap in the back here like I do on my off the motor what you could do is just strip a wire like what I did here and what you're gonna to want to do is figure out what wire gets hot for me it was this middle wire which I totally took off the protective tubing on it just to see um, uh, why it was getting hot and I checked it everywhere and there was no wires that were cut which usually if there's if your wires getting warm then your wire has a one of these strands of wire in your this copper wire has either been cut or distorted in some way to where it doesn't conduct electricity so what you do to fix that is you don't mess with this wire you don't want to mess with it um, if you can, you can find out where the brake is and fix it, which is what I did on this wire, but it's probably to waste your time. What you're going to want to do is get one of your other two motor wires, okay, and cut one of these little strands of copper wire in half. Just cut it. Make sure it doesn't connect with the other one anymore. Cut one of these strands of copper wire. So that this one will all have one copper wire that's been cut. This one will have one that's been cut. If you want to do it to the third one, you can, but I didn't do it and it just ended up working. But what you'll end up having is since this one's running on one less of a wire, it's going to run on less power. This one and this one, before you cut it, will run on more power. So this one's going to get warm and because these two are taking all the power. So what you want to do is equalize the power. Since this one has one wire that's cut, you're going to have to cut one of the wires in this one. So it equalizes the power. This third one I didn't do, it ended up working. But if it still does, you're going to want to cut one of the wires. Make sure it's one of the wires, not two or three, one. And if it's still warm, well, you're going to want to experiment. Maybe this one has two wires that are cut. And these ones, if you already cut one out of, you might have to cut another out of. But, you know, it's something to do on trash motors that doesn't work. And if you end up running out of wires to cut, or if you have a like one strand left you pretty much wasted your time wasted a motor but if it's just one strand and you got lucky like I did you can totally fix your motor so if you're troubleshooting first like I said figure out what wire is getting hot that's the one with the cut in it second of all get one of your other wires and cut a strand of wire like this so then it's it also has a cut wire in it like the original one did and finally your motor will run and if you have any questions in the comments of how else to repair this uh, kind of a problem or if it's a different problem you have in fact here's the wire I ended up cutting on this wire but yeah if you have any other problems with your motors leave them in the comments like, and I'll help you solve them but this is a huge problem I have not seen be solved on YouTube yet and um, hopefully this helps a ton of people because I have a ton of motors laying around that have the same problem and it's wasted my money over the years and I could just cut a wire to fix it that's just amazing uh, you won't have to do anything to the ESC's wires, but you will have to do it to the motor's wires. If you have an ESC like um, that doesn't have bullet plugs, 
just you could do the same thing it'll just not matter but if you have an ESC that runs with the bullet plugs that connect to the motor you won't have to cut a wire on the ESC at all just on the wires any of the wires that go to the motor directly to the motor but yeah guys like I said that's it sorry I'm trying to make this video as short as possible trying to help you guys you know fix this problem if one of your wires are hot definitely try this out if your motor gets hot try this out like not overheating but like if you plug it in run it for like a, like less than a minute and it gets super hot then you're gonna want to try this after you've died if you after you troubleshoot everything else like your gearing or if something's binding because if something's binding then that's definitely something you can fix easily but if your motor's just heating up out of the blue like if you take it out of the car and you run it for a minute if it's heating up most likely um, what's happening is either one of your bearings our toast, your motor uh, magnet is broken, which I have that Loctite metal video on my channel. You can check that out. And it could also be the wire problem. Most of the time it's the wire problem. You're going to want to check that first. Um, if you've already checked everything else in the drivetrain. But if you know it's the motor, you can check the wires. So, yeah guys, for another video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later.